Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have x to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of 200. Now, 200, this is equal to 2 times 100. So I'm going to replace 200 with 2 times 100. So now we have x to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of 2 times 100. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. And the same thing goes vice versa. a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So now I'm going to rewrite 10 to the power of 2 times 100 as 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 100. So this means that x to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 100. Now 10 squared, that's simply 100, right? So now we have x to the power of x is equal to 100 to the power of 100. And if we have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, as long as b is greater than or equal to 1, a is equal to b. So in this case, b is greater than or equal to 1. It's 100, which is much greater than 1. So this means that x is equal to 100. Now, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and see if it's right. So we have 100 to the power of 100 is equal to 10 to the power of 200. Now, a 100, this is the same thing as 10 squared, right? So now I have 10 squared to the power of 100 is equal to 10 to the power of 200. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 10 to the power of 2 to the power of 100, this would equal 10 to the power of 2 times 100. And 10 to the power of 2 times 100 is 10 to the power of 200. So we have 10 to the power of 200 equals 10 to the power of 200. Because this is right, we know our solution is x equals 100. 